The Paris site is a small indie game development team founded in 2019 that develops games based on fairy tales and has had a great start so far. Its debut title, Black Tale, is a survival RPG set in a beautiful, spooky, living forest based on the Slavic story of Baba Yaga. For those who don't know, there are many interpretations of the story, but some assume that Baba Yaga is a witch who lives in the forest. Sometimes those who seek it are rewarded with help, and sometimes they are devoured. Respect, love, will and a pure heart are the keys to a successful interaction with Baba Yaga. Black Tail fits this piece of lore perfectly, with its good and bad paths through history. The game begins with a small preview of the main character, a young masked girl named Yaga, and then asks whether the player will choose the path of light or the path of darkness. After the selection, Yaga wakes up in the middle of the forest with nothing but shattered memories. The only thing Yaga remembers is that she was with her friends and her sister, and she has to find them. Two voices are heard when Yaga first opens his eyes. One is a young girl, and the other is referred to only as the voice for the rest of the game. The voice is a woman who annoys and belittles Yaga, but always helps him on his way. The voice doesn't seem to belong to anything or anyone physically following Yaga, but somehow comes from within. During the first steps in the forest, Yaga will retrieve and equip his bow, the main weapon for the rest of the adventure. The bow initially comes with one type of arrow but more will eventually be discovered and available to craft. There are three types of shots available with the bow fast, long, and powerful. As you'd expect with a bow, it's as easy as aiming and choosing a target. But this is not the only thing Yaga has at his disposal. On his arm, Yaga has a woody gauntlet that he soon learns can cast spells to knock back or freeze enemies with rechargeable mana. This is especially useful for giving players some room to aim properly when suddenly bombarded by creatures rather than being instantly overwhelmed. With some smaller enemies, this skill is enough to take them out in just a few hits. The good news for players less interested in combat and more interested in a reinterpretation of the Baba Yaga story is that Black Tail allows players to start in either adventure or story mode. The main difference between the two modes is the combat difficulty. For players who prefer to play just for the story and aren't interested in their skills or abilities in combat, the story mode offers a slightly lighter experience. But for those who like both, adventure offers plenty of challenges. Straight away there are items to collect for crafting, which guide players through the tutorial while providing them with a good supply of resources to get started. Players will want to make sure they always have enough red flowers, as they must give one to shrines to save them. However, there is usually one near each shrine. Soon, Yaga comes across some talking mushrooms, Borvi and Borko, who also play a light versus dark personality and begin to guide her along the story path. Players can choose what to hear and whether to follow their instructions or explore on their own. After that, the game opens and hidden enemies and treasures appear. Yaga encounters mythical creatures, one-eyed spiders, and carnivorous plants, restoring memories piece by piece as she fights to survive this mystical forest and all its magic and inhabitants. If players want to improve, they should focus on gathering resources through exploration, chests, and defeating minor enemies. Resources can be used in the hut to improve Yaga's skill tree, unlock new mana skills, improve the bow, and craft potions. One of these abilities is an increase in the number and type of arrows used, bonus hexes, and freezing power. The tree is set up so players can focus on leveling up the area that best fits their playstyle, or keep everything rounded if they prefer. As the story unfolds, Yaga eventually breaks off his mask, collects new ones, and places them on a statue of a faceless man, learning more about his lost memories and discovering his friends. During these points, players can choose to switch paths. Most of Yaga's basic interactions have a good or bad alignment and are also tracked in the player menu. Unfortunately, it can sometimes be easy for someone on the path of good to accidentally do something bad. For example, if a player uses their mon ability to fight enemies during battle, it is possible to accidentally hit a nearby bird or wig beetle and get a hit to their high score. As she discovers Yaga, her sister Zora, and her missing friends, there are fairy tale kit scenes to fill in the gaps in Yaga's memories. These are narrated by a new in-game voice with a sense of wit, charm, a bit of sarcasm and humor that makes the story engaging and breaks the narrative of Yaga and the voice. Black Tail is one of many great games set in the woods, 
but differs in that it takes the concept of a witch in the woods and turns it into a creative world with a large map and unique characters and enemies throughout. Travel, day and night, these forests express equal levels of eerie beauty and offer so much to explore. This isn't your typical fairy tale forest. It has character, contours and details. While the expansive map makes for fun exploration, many players will likely be disappointed that there isn't a real fast travel option. There are two types of shrines that Yaga uses in the game to travel. You have to shoot an arrow to teleport her, so she has to be close enough to target him with her bow. The other transports them to a twin sanctuary, which is usually not too far away. While this makes the player move faster than running, it's not very effective or helpful when trying to run the entire map. Another travel option that's helpful but doesn't quite hit the mark is petting the black cat. This will transport players to the hut to visit the cauldron. There are many places where the black cat is waiting for Yaga and they are clearly marked on the map. However, he doesn't help as much as traveling very fast. There were some features that could be improved, but they certainly didn't take away from the fun of the game. At bonfires on the map, players can cook meat for health. However, the camera angle is awkward in these scenes, as the player is not looking at the fire they are using, but next to the fire, which can disrupt the game's immersion. As expected in an exploration-based game, there are many areas where some platforming skills come into play. The way Yaga's health and lives are captured in the game means that one fall can undo a lot of progress. The controls in the game aren't unwieldy, but can lead to frustration in some areas. This becomes especially apparent when trying to time and angle a jump just right, as players will sometimes notice Yaga shifting awkwardly and in some cases falling when she's on the ledge after landing or trying to go around an object on the ledge. Path to jump. Taking a fairy tale about a witch and turning it into a video game could easily have been a cheesy twist, with a cliched spooky forest that is dark, lacking in detail, full of owls and a cackling witch. However, the parasite has taken this story and added its own elements that give context to a classic story and give it a resurgence. The ending was a bit predictable, but Young Yaga's adventure added something new for fans and those new to the Baba Yaga lore. Dark, funny, original, and enchanting Black Tail is a solid choice that plays on par with some of the best RPGs. Black Tail is available now for PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and Xbox Series 10 R rating. For out of 5 excellent, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.